Go to a mirror or grab a hand mirror. Now, look deeply into your eyes and say, I love you. I love and accept you exactly as you are. Keep looking deeper. Say it a couple of times, add your name. How did that feel? Did you melt and feel your heart opening wider? Smile so brightly your eyes sparkled. Can you do this every day, any time of the day and feel only love? No resistance, no judgments, no awkwardness, no discomfort in your body. Clear, flowing love. Anyone besides a young child who can honestly answer yes to these questions, I would salute. I truly believe to be able to do that, to feel that way always, normally takes a lot of work. When I first started this mirror exercise at the age of 19, I couldn't do it. I literally could not look myself in the eyes. I was afraid. Even trying to say the words without looking in the mirror was painful. My heart ached, my stomach churned and the tears flowed. I've come a long way. Nonetheless, there are still times when I feel uncomfortable looking into my own eyes and saying loving kind words. I feel the resistance in my mind and heaviness in my heart. The times when I can and do feels amazing. I think working on self-love is one of the most important things we can do, not just for ourselves, for everyone else in our lives. Or as RuPaul on Drag Race always says, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? In my early 20s, I learned my work nickname was the Ice Queen. Most people thought I considered myself superior because I only ever taught work. They were hurt. The truth was, I was hurt, shut down. I was saturated in shame and fear and totally believed I was not good enough. Working on self-love has been and continues to be for me transformational and miraculous medicine for all areas of my life. A few years ago, I was voted the most fun and appreciative person out of 400 people in the organisation. Another year, I shared the same award as part of the charity committee. From Ice Queen to Crystal Trophies, I mean it when I say learning to love yourself is transformational and miraculous. When I'm shutting down, hiding, if I look deeply, not good enough is lurking at the very bottom. When I'm stuck, shooting on myself, experiencing imposter syndrome, trying too hard to please others. Underneath the surface is not good enough. Whenever we step or are pushed outside of our comfort zones, whenever we expand to do more, whether that's in our work or personal lives, more often than not, we encounter the next layer of not good enough. My personal experiences, studies and working with others has taught me not good enough is lurking at the bottom of most people. Fear. Not loving the self is the cause. Love is letting go of not good enough. Love, as Dr. Gerald Jambolowski says, love is letting go of fear. I deeply believe we are same, same, but different, beautifully different, which means you may probably possibly also experience cycles of forgetting and remembering, doing and not doing, which is why I love reminders, reinforcements and refinements. Hopefully, you always do too. You would never criticise anyone, ever, the way you criticise yourself. You would never, ever tell someone you love they are not good enough. I know I wouldn't. You know words are powerful. You know the words of others can trigger you. And you know the words that trigger you the most are the words you tell yourself. Be kind, be 
be gentle. Be compassionate with yourself, your psyche, your messy roommate. Forgive, let go. Feed yourself nourishing words and thoughts. I love you. I love and accept you exactly as you are. I am doing the best that I can with the experiences and the knowledge I have, and these will grow. I am enough. If you're not ready to look yourself in the eyes and think or say out loud words of love and acceptance, I understand. Place your hand on your heart often and with conviction think, I am willing to learn to love myself, all of myself. This will start to melt the blocks. Being committed to telling yourself loving thoughts really does make a difference, a magical, miraculous difference. May you always remember when you are lost and entangled in disturbing thoughts and feelings, so you get back to your centre quickly and the truth of who you are. You, you are a radiantly beautiful cosmic miracle. You are awesome. It's not what you do. It's who you are.